Good morning, this is Bethany from Wandering Intentionally. And today I'm doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. Today we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, I got something right here to share with you all. And uh, so normally this is not, actually this is something I've never done before. So we'll go ahead and do it today. And um, we just got back from our first RV trip. We took it up to uh, both to Bar Harbor, well, Booth Bay Harbor first and then Bar Harbor. And so you're gonna be seeing some upcoming videos on that. Let's just say that trip ended up a little more shakedown than we thought it was going to be. So you'll see that video coming up, but I wanted to share this as well. So um, today's unboxing is actually from Grove Collaborative. Collaborative. And I, you know, first of all, it's, as far as it goes, I'm, I'm not an affiliate. I don't have a link to them. Um, the only, I purchased all of these products except for the free ones that they include. And uh, I wanted to let you know a little bit about the company before we started out with it. Um, it is cleaning and they also have healthcare products. I think there's even some pet products in there, usually things for the home. And they... Um, try to go with a more natural route or, or try to promote less packaging, more product, um, and, and to make it easier for the consumer to get things that are actually going to work. So that being said, you're going to, you see them pop up all over the place. If you're on Facebook at all, you're going to see it pop up every, you know, quarterly, I think they run maybe even more than that. They run free deals where you can, uh, buy a starter kit from them where it's sort of, you know, several products together in a little container usually or, or something that they're trying to promote that they are offering. And so I thought, well, I'm doing a lot of spring cleaning right now. And I wanted products also that were going to be able to go into the RV. So I need products that will do multiple um, jobs because the last thing I want to do is spend time switching out products and I don't like to have a lot of product on hand. I tend to be a Clorox wipe girl. I usually have four or five containers of them at a time, especially in light of what the past year has been. Um, but if I find a product, I tend to be very, very particular about it and will use that religiously. But what I'm finding is Again, not one product does a lot of things. Um, I've even gone the route of vinegar and water. I use that a lot as well. But um, I'm doing, I'm getting ready to do some painting. So I need to be able to clean the walls, the windows, the trim, all of that stuff. And I was looking for something that would fit the bill for that. So uh, I placed the order and I did it all online. Now, for the first 60 days, you get free shipping. And uh, what they're hoping for is that you're going to join this club that they have, this VIP club for $20 a year. You get free shipping on all your orders. Uh, um, otherwise, <clears throat> after that first enrollment period, you would end up paying for shipping. And as you know, cleaning products can be heavy. So yeah. Um, that's something to consider. If you don't want to be a full member on this, you can give them a call um, or I don't think there's any way to unsubscribe online. You can, you can vary when you get your deliveries. Uh, what they'll do is they'll fill your cart and then I went in, I already immediately after the first order had shipped, I went in and they had filled my cart with things that they thought I was going to need for the next time. And you can pick or choose. You can take those out as you like. So that is in there. You can also vary the, the amount of time that it takes for the next delivery. So uh, it, it works like most other subscription services out there. Um, and, and I'm not a huge fan of subscription services because I don't always use them as quickly as uh, they require. Um, you know, what comes to mind is, uh, the, uh, Dollar Shave Club, which I love the razors. I love, uh, the blades, but we don't use them fast enough. 
to be able to go through what they needed. And it ended up, um, I tried to keep up with it. And then my son stopped shaving. So, um, so we actually ended up canceling that. And with Dollar Shave Club, you can actually get those at big box stores now, the, the blades. So there is that. So a lot of companies like Grove Collaborative have done really well within the last year because, of course, people weren't going out and uh, needed to find a way to get the products that they need for their home. Um, that's why companies like Amazon have done so well. And Grove is another one. Now, I wanted to share something here. Um, when I got the box, I ordered and <clears throat> it took about 24 hours for the order to say it had shipped, which was fine with me. Not a problem. I, I knew I was going on a trip. I wasn't going to be home. Um, so I was really surprised that the actual package came within I got the shipment within four days um, now it came from let's see they are in Elizabethtown Pennsylvania um, so they are on the eastern seaboard with me but um, the other fun thing about this was and I don't know if I can show this or not there was a note on top of the package here they wrote me a little note which I you know it's a small thing and it says you made a difference today, Bethany, with a happy face. And it says, love, Grove. You know what? That little touch is huge. All right. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's uh, inside the packaging. Which, by the way, I mean, it's a nice, sturdy package. It came. Um, it is a recycled box. Good for them. Inside the packaging, it says, how Grove works. Um, explore healthy favorites, customize your cart, adjust your order date, and look for reminders. There's also a link on the, on the box description to tell you where to go to check it out. Uh, it's saying, look for a packing slip. Uh, it's on the Grove app. So if you want to see your packing slip, you can go online to your order and check it out there which is another way of saving packing material. Now this as this is all recycled packing material. I'm certainly going to recycle it. All right. <clears throat> now some of the stuff is the free stuff that came with the package and some of it is actually stuff that I picked out. Um, there were a couple of products that I saw that I really wanted to try. And uh, so I went ahead and picked those out. Um, I can't remember if this is one that came with the package or one that I ordered. That's going to be a problem is remembering which ones were the free ones. This is a laundry detergent packs. They are 95% bio-based. No synthetic fragrances, dyes, or optical brighteners. Powerful stain fighting <clears throat> formula. And there are eight loads in here. <clears throat> so what I really wanted this for was uh, bedding and uh, things like I have a cloth shower curtain uh, that I, I and curtains and things like that that you want to have something uh, that will clean and brighten them up but will also smell good you know so I, I did pick that this one is in the lavender and rosemary scent um, and these you place one packet directly into the washing machine and then add clothes Select style, cycle, and a weight laundry bliss. That's cute. All right, so we have that. Oh, there's also a nice little... All the packaging is very well thought out. And uh, that's something to be said right there. I mean, this is, this is a really neat packaging idea. It's a little slip of an envelope. Um, it says that Grove was found, founded by three friends who believe there should be a simple, streamlined way to find products that you can trust. Uh, so they've made it personal and that's important too. People like products that they can relate to the company <clears throat> and they can relate to the product itself. So good for them. 
Uh, it says, you're, we're so happy you're here. Peek inside to learn more about Grove and how your next order will work. So yeah, so there's a nice little trifold. fold uh, well, I guess it's a double fold. And it fits inside the envelope. So there's that. Uh, this was part of the free <coughs> giveaways that they were doing. <clears throat> this is a walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge. And I've seen people using these. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of the people who do the cleaning videos, they use the walnut scrubbers. So I'm not sure I've never used one before, so we'll see how that works. And I plan on doing a review after I've used the products as well, so we can have an idea of it. So this, this was one that, uh, I think this was actually one of the, maybe it was one of the giveaways or it was one that I picked. This is a uh, antibacterial toilet cleaner. I have been on a miss mission to find something that cleans the toilet well for quite some time. Um, you know, it's there. It's it, literally when you. It's you know. It's, I'm not sure what kind of a life it is when I start searching YouTube for ways to clean your toilet. That just seems odd, but. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. It says it's a spearmint. Um, it has an interesting nozzle there. It says it's a germ buster. Uh, let's see. Twist open and squirt under the rim. Flush and done. To sanitize empty toilet bowl. Squirt to cover surface and wait five minutes, then brush and flush. Uh, so it's it's standard. So we'll see we'll see if that works. I am interested to see you know what it smells like. I know that sounds odd, but most of the time everything you get is so chemical smelling that um, especially for toilets. All right, this was part of one of the ones that uh, was for free. This is. The, and I have not tried Mrs. Meyers products, but this is Mrs. Meyers multi-surface everyday cleaner in a lilac scent. Uh, I tried to pick scents. My husband's not a huge fan of heavy scents, heavy floral scents. So, uh, and some of them, if they're artificial, make me sneeze. But these are supposed to not have that issue. Um, they are plant-derived cleaning products, essential oils made without parabens and phthalates, glycol solvents, or artificial colors. So not putting in the things that you don't need. Uh, and I think that most of these are highly concentrated, so it doesn't take as much to do this. Uh, so we will see how that works and that's lilac see what it smells like i'm kind of interesting my lilac bush isn't in isn't in blossom yet so let's see what this smells like hmm it's not as it's not as strong as i was thinking it was going to be so that's good actually that's good for my husband because like i said he's not a big fan of real heavy heavy scents We have uh, another one of the free ones, which was the multi-surface everyday cleaner. Let's see. This time it's in fresh cut grass. So we'll see what that one smells like as well, because that sounds interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I really like the smell of that one. So hopefully this will be a really good one. Uh, to use more often it, it's it's surprising that it smells that good we have fresh cut grass i got the fresh cut grass which i'm glad for and this is in the dish soap so i'm going to give this one a try i'm i'm interested to see uh how this works with the dish soap so um 
as far as product price goes, um, you know, health cleaning products, the price of them has sky high, gone sky high in the last year. I would say these are comparable to a grocery store pricing. Uh, I did work in the grocery store industry for a long time. And I can tell you that the pricing that you see is very comparable to that. The, of course, the easier you're getting is it comes directly to your home. You have a multitude of choices. You don't need to worry about going out to get it. And in the current climate crisis, this is crisis. This is what you want. Um, they also offer a lot of new, up, new upcoming items that you may not see in your store. We're in Maine, so we don't. You know, we're kind of the last. One of the last ones to see it. Maybe Alaska doesn't get it fast, as fast as we do. Uh, but we certainly are one of the last ones to see products. So definitely, I mean, is there some place you could get this cheaper? Yeah. Um, I bought I bought some microfiber products from, um, and, and they sell some. I don't think I got some from them. I did get some microfibers from TJ Maxx. And I think I got something like, Either a six or eight pack for seven bucks. Uh, and if you have not cleaned with microfiber before, I gotta say, I put it off for a long time, but it's it's awesome. It works great. And I actually got that pack, divvied it up. Half of it went in the RV and half of it stayed here. But now I have to find them because my son, I just found one outside. My son used one on his truck. All right. Oh, we have a little container that came with the item. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. They do a lot of, like, special little... I'm going to have to clean that up afterwards. Um, there's a nice little spring bucket here to put my cleaning products in. And fresh cut grass in there. We have Mrs. Meyer's hand soap in rose scent. Uh, made with olive oil and aloe vera. So that sounds really interesting. Hmm. I like all natural products. Chemicals tend to make me break out. So it's nice to have. Hmm. I like that. Will the guys like that? Probably not chances of them using a rose scented hand soap are not very good but I'll use it dishwasher detergent packs that bing was my essential oils uh mister this is triple action enzyme 20 packs I think I paid 20 packs I think I paid five or six bucks for this. This is lemon and eucalyptus. It is 91% plant-based. Um, it removes grease and food stains better than the leading national brand. I was looking for something because a lot of times I, I have a dishwasher. I have a nice dishwasher. We just put it in this last year. But we don't, we use the, uh, one of the packs that you put in there. I can't remember which kind it is. Uh, it tends to leave a residue in there that I'm not particularly fond of. Because I keep thinking that's chemicals that are sitting in there. And so I don't really like that. We'll see if these leave a residue behind. So I will do an update. Probably in about a month I'll do an update on that. So the last product that I got... When I'm done, I'll tell you. When I'm done with this, I'll tell you how much I paid um, for all the product. So this is the one that I was really looking forward to, and uh, this is the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. Um, I had seen this on another channel, and and it was really my reason for for going to Grove in the first place was to look for this. Uh, it is supposed to be better for wood products. 
um, that is supposed to clean them better and of course not have all of the, it's plant-based. So I was looking for something that I could easily spray on my table, um, you know, the woodwork, I've got a china cabinet, those type of things to be able to clean with that. So this was the one that I was really looking forward to the most. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. I'm at 20 minutes here now, so I just wanted to um, go over it. As I said, so out of all of this, I ended up with what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 products. Uh, some of them were, as I said, free and came with the, with, with the promotion that they were doing. Now that's on the way. Um, it was free shipping, as I said. It came really quickly. And my cost for the products, the ones that I added to it, was $22. So $22 for all of this, plus the free shipping. Uh, if, if it works, it's gonna be a fantastic deal. Um, you know, I, how often will I use cleaning products? Um, right now I'm working from home, so more likely to use it while I'm working from home. But if it turns around and then I need to go back to work uh, in an office, that's going to cut. I, I need things that are going to cut the time down, obviously. So for now, this works. Like I said, I'm going to do a review again in a month. We'll do a quick uh, jump on. I'll probably just jump on to uh, wanderingintentionally.com and uh, check that. You can check that out later. I'll, I'll link it over to YouTube as well just to do a review and let you know how it worked. In the meantime, uh, this is where we're at. So I hope you enjoyed this all. It's a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, as I said, I have a ton of footage that I put together for Acadia, from Acadia and our trip in the RV. Um, some do, some don'ts. Essentially, it was our first trip in the RV. So there was a big learning curve there. All right. I hope you all are doing well, that you stay safe, stay healthy. And know I'm sending blessings. Bye-bye.